for uh, a way to escape. He still was at home dealing with the same pains that I had dealt with. And so I needed to come back, I needed to come, because at the time, I was the only one that could care for him. I was the only caregiver. And so like I said, I'd go to the streets the same way every time, and I remember this one day, I remember, I was walking in the streets, I was, about, I was about five years old, and I felt God saying to me, Derek, go to this church. And so I went to a church, I went to Deliverance Church, and when I got there, there was a missionaries from America that come from uh, Saddleback, and they were giving out food, they're giving out clothes, and they're giving out baths. And what had happened was uh, they were kind of later on the trip. They'd been here for a couple weeks, and so later on there was no, there was nothing uh, they could use to dry me off. So they gave me a bath, and they didn't have anything to dry me off. And so what happened was my mom, what she did was she grabbed me and she hugged me, and she just tried to dry me off the best she could their clothes. And I bet a lot of you probably know that feeling. That feeling of not having clothes. Like Eric said earlier, maybe you've been in the same clothes for a lot of time. I remember that feeling. See, when she dried me off, there was no other clothes. I just put on the same dirty clothes. And I bet a lot of us can relate to that. And so what had happened that night was uh, they realized, wow, he's way too young to be here on the streets, and so what they did is they took us to the, uh, the place they were staying. They were staying at the Katale Club, and they invited me and my friend John, and we went there, and when we got there, uh, I walked in the big room. There was tables lined up, and I walk in, and I look through the room, and I go and I crawl under the table, and I sit on my dad's lap. I sat on a man that I trusted. I trusted him. I felt like, oh, this, this man can care for me. And so I, uh, I go, I go there, and the very, uh, the very next day, actually, actually that night, my uh, parents were talking. They actually, when they came to America, they had no intentions of adopting. In fact, my dad said, we are not adopting. Right? That is not gonna happen, so don't try it. It's not gonna happen. But again, when God calls you to do something, it's hard to say no, isn't it? 